Hello and welcome to World of Tanks and today I've got an amazing battle with the bad chat and I do mean amazing. Now I consider myself to be a very very aggressive player and once I start tracking up the kills usually I get too aggressive and I end up dying that's why usually I don't get high kill games. But this time I was a little bit more patient and it did pay off. I got my first Red Waters medal, a Faladin medal and obviously a Top Gun. So this is quite an interesting battle. Now, regarding the clan, I have created the clan, it is called Knights of Malta. So by the time is up, unless something goes horribly wrong, you, got, you guys that left a comment in the comment section of the clan video with your gamer tag should receive an invite if you want to join my clan and you didn't leave your gamer tag in the previous video leave it in this one so by next wednesday we should do our first team training now the i will announce the time on my facebook page so if you guys want to hop into team training with me do like my facebook page i will post the time that i'm going to do team training right there so please do like the Facebook thing. So, back to the battle. Things do start quite strong right here. I missed the first shot on a T-71 and bounced the second, but I still get the kill. So now uh, I am basically reloading. Also, in this video, I am experimenting a little bit more with my editing. Uh, in the end, you'll see what I'm talking about. I edited the end plates and I edited the medals as well. You'll see what I'm talking about. So. Uh, let me know if you do enjoy the editing or not because it does take quite a lot of time so let me know in the comment section below now this is a great great vantage point for you to spot some enemies and especially a tank like the backshot which you've got i mean 400 meters of view range which is good uh, it allows you to spot quite well right here i set the t28 prototype on fire and trust me that is not luck Every time I shoot an American tank especially, I always aim for the engine deck. Most of the, well not most of the time, but sometimes I do get quite a lot of fires. Especially with a tank like the Batchet, when you can um, just continuously fire in the engine deck, you will have a good shot of getting the enemy tank on fire. So that's a nice step right there. And doing stuff like that will help increase your effectiveness in game. Now, as you'll see, uh, I only emptied two canisters so far and I did do almost 2k damage, which is a decent start to the game. I missed a couple of shots on that T75, T71, but what can I do? Trying to snipe this IS-3 at long range. Obviously, I don't want him to flank behind, the, behind our allies on the hill. We're already quite short on tanks on the hill i mean the Ferdinand is all alone there so uh, i did my best to try to help him out i killed off the t54 and the is3 is one shot away from that so i think i helped the Ferdinand out enough and yes he did end up getting the hill so our flanks are completely secured right now and we are leading by three tanks to one so so yeah we, we've got a very very good start to the game again waiting for my reload and this is the advantage that you get when you're sitting in the middle of the map. You've got a great vantage point on everywhere and you have a line of sight almost everywhere. T57. If I recall correctly, he wasn't from full health, but look at this. Now two shots, three shots, and right about now he'll disappear. Another shot, and the last shot, and I end up killing him. I always love to blind fire some of you might not like it that much and i know most of the time that my accuracy does go down because of it but one when you do hit those shots it really really does pay off and you saw right there uh, i managed to kill the t57 heavy with two blind shots and that worked out quite well for me so we've done over 4k damage keep in mind that the blind shots do not count to the damage indicated in the top of your screen so Again, while, while we are reloading, I'm trying to see if I have a line of sight on anything and seems I do, it seems that I do not have, so I decide to be a little bit more aggressive and move slightly forward to flank these heavy tanks right here. Now, honestly, I have no idea what they are doing. 
and if you're going to make it easy for me to shoot you, I will gladly take advantage of that. Bounce the first shot right off the turret of the IS-3, uh, and with three shots, I end up taking him out. So, let's see if we can nail one last shot in the T-34. And it seems that I do go for the reload, and it may be a little bit close for comfort right now, because I am reloading fairly close to the enemy team, but uh, I do know that if they try to cross over to basically attack me, uh, they will get shot by the allies to my right. So I am pretty safe in reloading right here. So up to 5 kills, we did quite a lot of damage, and I'm just waiting for, for my reload to finish. Now I am leveling up my camo skill on my budget. I dropped some skills. Some of you suggested that uh, I put a camo skill on my budget, and I decided to do that. And it really does make quite a big difference. So there's my sixth kill. So I have gotten my top gun, and as you can see, that's uh, the editing that I was talking about. Let me know if you do enjoy it, because surprisingly, it does quite take quite a lot of fiddling around to get that working like that. So. Six kills and a top gun. Uh, things are moving pretty well right here. I, I almost got all the kills for my team. Well, not all of them, but I did get a large portion of them. And their 268 is doing very, very well. I kill off this E75, but I still need to be very, very careful because a 268 can one shot most of our allies, especially in this stage of the game where. Our tanks are low on health, he can possibly one-shot them, and he does reload fairly fast, so we have to proceed with caution right here, if we do not want to basically let our advantage slip away. Now, if you notice, I am only down to four rounds, and there are two tanks left, so I do have to make my, my ammo count, and I do not have to, and I can't miss, because if I miss, uh, things probably won't turn out so well. So, object 268 rushing right here. I'll take that easy kill, no problem at all. So that's my 8th kill. And there I have gotten the Radley Walters medal. KV4 right here, miss my first shot. Bang in my second shot. And... This is my last shot, and I don't want to cock it up. So, I decide to go forward aim with delicate with delicacy and with that i get my ninth kill a record for myself and that also get me faladin's medal if you don't know what faladin's medal is it's basically you have to kill off the last enemy tank in the game with your last shell so luckily that miss kind of worked out well for me and it did end up getting me faladin's medal so let me know about the rotating medals at the bottom. Also, let me know if you prefer this, time, this kind of uh, end plates. I added them up into one spot to make them a little bit easier to, to see. So, as you can see, I made a lot and a lot of credits, although I did have an event for it. But still, you can see that I made 88.5k credits, which is quite a lot in a tier 10 battle. I also made a lot of XP, 2k XP, which is quite decent, 30 shots fired, 27 direct hits, 23 penetrations, almost 7k damage, and I think I did pretty, pretty well. You can see that uh, the 268 on the enemy team did decently well. For 7 kills, he didn't do that much damage, but he still did decently well, so I kind of feel sorry for him. So, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you, re you receive your clan invitations. If you want to join my clan, leave your name in the comment section below if you didn't leave it on the previous video. Also, let me know what you think about the edi editing. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.